Hi, I'm William Tendler, and I welcome you to my Masters 7000 series. And I'm going to give you something special. I've never done it like this before. But you see, I've done a number of, well, more than 30 checkmates in a month. And, you know, it's nice to just kind of look where was the last move, right? How did you set this all up? Well, that's going to be for you to discover. I'm going to show you a few different, this is obviously a checkmate sequence. Now let's look at the next one. Yes, so we can clearly see what was the last move. Boom, they didn't see that coming, right? You had your queen over here, they're thinking right side of the board. Boom, checkmate, okay. What was the last move? Well, this was obviously an exchange and then checkmate because you positioned your bishop in a way cannot move the pawns out, right? Okay, checkmate. This one was an attack that came all the way around the board this way. And the last move was the rook, but it was the two moves of the rook on the seventh rank. And just, that's a great thing always to get your rooks on the seventh rank. Every player up to grandmaster and super grandmaster will do this if they can. Let's look at the next one. Yes, look at that. That is a special checkmate. Boom, boom, boom. It's like the power, the tower of power just unleashed. And now we have middle of the board checkmate. The king was chased right out of the side, king's side, and meets their demise in the middle of the board. Just total central control for the checkmate. Let's look at the next one. And let's look at the, the move came from here to there. They're not quite seeing that that would be checkmate. That That's a surprise move because they did not see that the king had nowhere to go. Amazing. I saw it and I did it. So we go on to a list of other. This is a just domination here. And you know, that's kind of a list of checkmates. And so it's uh, pretty amazing. I'm William Tenholder and I love chess.